Hello, my friends of Hattery Labs. Welcome to a tutorial in Modflow with Model Muse. Uh, we are going to do a tutorial about how to do a multiple well configuration in Modflow with Model Muse. This is a topic where you, I mean, if you are using the standard GIS tools, maybe you can set up or do the configuration for one well, maybe two wells, maybe 10 wells, but what happens if you are dealing with 400 wells or maybe 500 wells where you can well put a specific rate and a specific schedule on the pumping rate. So um, for this, we are going to do um, this tutorial because uh, we think that this is very interesting for you. So first of all, we are going to do, we are going to do, and the tutorial is almost a complete tutorial because um, we are going to do the model configuration and, and another thing. So it will be not only the, the multiple wells, but with other things, with other modeling things. So, so we go to model mules. Okay, great. So we create a new model flow model. Okay, great. So we are going to deal with, I think, uh, let me check. Let me check because really, mm. is three two six thirteen because we are dealing with UTM. WGS 84, North, and Sun 13. Okay, so next. And um, we are going to deal with three aquifers. That's, a, that's right. So that is, but we are going to use the no grid option. Okay. So, okay, here we have our model. So we go file, import, check file. You will receive some files on the description of this video. So, and these files are in order that you do the, the tutorial. So, so here we have the check file that is the model extension. Okay. So, and set value of enclosed cells. Why not? Then we go to object and then we go to model extension. And just to set grid cell size of 1000, let's see which is the resolution if I do the 1000. Okay, I put OK, I put close here, and then I explode it with this one. Yeah, I explode with this one, with this one. Yep, and this is calculate, okay. I just said, okay, and this is, so 1,000, 1,000 seems to be, I mean, for me, 1,000 is a huge decretization, but in this case, it seems to be okay. So why not? Um, I will prefer uh, 500 meters. Okay, yeah, it's a topic of the modeler, which is the resolution that, he will, that one will use. So we will be 500 meters. Okay. I close and then I explode it again with this one. Yep. Okay, that's right. Okay, now I'm going to import the. Now I'm going to import the software grid file. Okay, so we are going to import a software grid file for the for you that use that you use QGIS. Remember that you have to do it with the processing toolbox rather than the standard. QGIS because the standard QGIS is not giving the right result. So here, this is directly as model top, average points, set value for interpolation, why not? We said okay, and nothing will happen because we have to go to data, edit data sets, required, layer definition, model top, and then we have to assign here a, a interpolation method that will be fitted surface for me, that's all right. Okay, that's great. Why not? 
So let's see that we are going to have uh, the bottom layer will be 600 meters. Mm -hmm. The data sets, layer definition, this will be 600 meters. And this will be divided by each third of the total thickness. So is, this will be the lead formula that will be model top. No, it will be the bottom part, lower with bottom plus zero point. Ah, oh no, let's see. Plus model top minus lower aquifer bottom, divided, no, okay, no, wait. Multiply by two, divided by three, okay? Okay, this will be one third, get apply, and the other one will be one third. Okay, that's right. So here we have our geometry of our aquifer. Yep. And then I file import, I can I can import a background map as well. So I like here I have a image in the fondo that is a background map. Yeah, because I it's more interesting that I use this in order to show where the, the values are. Okay, so now I'm going to import the multiple wells, and this is the purpose of this tutorial. So how do I import the multiple wells? Okay, first of all, these are the wells here. Mm -hmm. Okay. You see that here we have the coordinate, the x coordinate, the y coordinate, and the elevation of the well. Okay, and the pumping rate schedule is the same. And is they are pumping from from one mode. Okay, so what do I need? I transfer the pumping, the initial time and the final time. I transfer this. Yep. To, uh, to seconds, because it's only one month in seconds. And this is the pumping rate, and it's minus. Why is minus? Because it's pumping, and pumping is out of the system. So it's taking water out of the system, and this is minus. So, but first of all, in order to, and how many wells do we have? We have 182 wells, okay? So first of all, uh, what we are going to do is, we are going to uh, initiate or we set up the well boundary conditions. So model, vacation programs, uh, boundary conditions, specify flux. This is the well. OK, that's right. So yep. And then what else? I go, OK, once I have the wells already, I go to file, import, and then I go to points, points, yep. And this will be one formula of points. And this will be for the well package, yep. And set value of intercepted cells. Okay, why not? Then I go here to data, yep. And, and here I have to put the X value, the Y value, the depth of the well, the starting time, the end time, and the pumping rate. So here I just go from, this is my, X and Y values, why not? Yeah. Yeah, my set value is this, the world bottom. Okay. And my starting and my ending is this one. And my piping rate is this one. Already, 
in meters per cubic meters per second. Okay. And if you see, it's really easy. I mean, it's really easy to configure 180 wells, 182 wells with the pumping rate the schedule, with the with the characteristics of the wells, and just by doing and working with points. Yeah. So if you didn't know this feature of Model Muse, this is a good tutorial for that. So first of all, we say okay, okay, that's great, and if you see here, if you see here, and then I can, oops, sorry. I can, and I can, I can change the color of the, of the wheels because I don't like this color at all. So here, change it to other color. Mm -hmm. Yep, and what else do we have here? These are the, the different depth, the, and these are the waves that we have, that, he, that we have worked, uh, that we have imported in this tutorial, okay? So this is the tutorial. Um, this is tutorial is specific about wells. Yep, I received some. I received like two two emails per week of people that wants to learn about Modflow with Model Muse. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we don't have. We still do not have any ground courses in Modflow with Model Muse, and there is something that many people. I think, but we want to hear from you. I mean, we want to hear from your from your background or like which kind of projects are you dealing with, and then if you are interested in something uh, more specific or like you are interested in something more general, yeah, I will drop my I um, I will try to to reply to your emails. But sometimes uh, there are people that ask in anything. I mean, like, um, I cannot answer, like, very big, like, uh, like questions about how to do a model. <laughs> and so this is uh, this is not not nothing that I can help you about. But if you have any other comments, this is my email. And I will uh, like for a person that that asked me something about about Modflow CFP. This it was a good a good project, a good question, and I I dedicated some time to do that to for that. So I hope that you that we can keep in touch in this particular field of Grand Water Modeling. That is something that for me really motivates my. Okay. If you like this YouTube channel, please uh, give it a like to this video and as well subscribe to this channel, okay? And if you like what we post on the social network, please give it a like and share it on your social networks, okay? My name is Saul Montoya and it was uh, from Hatari Labs and it was a really a pleasure. You will receive all the files for, from these tutorials in the description of this video. Okay, please have a great day and hope to see you in another tutorial. Bye-bye. Bye.